Hello, BBS. This is a message from your forgotten BBS mascots. Our friend Hero the Fox ha cannot join us, but we are here. EP320 and Ollie. Believe, okay. it, believe it or not, that's what they named me, Ollie. Just it's me time for the story. Yep. And is everyone ready? Hope so. In three. How many fingers do I have? Four, three, two, one. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Hi, St. James. Good morning, and welcome to our Sunday story. Uh, my name is Miss Julie. I'm Haley. Bella. And we are here to tell the St. James United Methodist Church children's story uh, and, and wanted to give a little shout out to our VBS puppets and friends from, from back in the day. Uh, we've had a good time playing with them. We hope that you had fun with VBS last year, uh, last week and two weekends ago. Um, and remember, you can still do some of those same activities. Like they're still really fun and lots of cool things you can be doing. So um, by all means, have fun with that. So today, Haley Tyler and our um, puppet friends are here to talk a little bit um, about the very, 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 very last book of the Bible. Does anybody know what that book is called? Revelation. Revelation. Okay, so before we get started, EP, EP320, I'm going to ask you a question. What is your most favorite place to go? Now that I think about it, the auto shop, because they have free oil and free bolts. Okay. Okay, the auto shop. I get it. I get it. Okay, Please. Ollie, where's your favorite place to go? Um, Are you shy? Do you want to whisper it to me? Oh, the river. The river. Okay, all right. Haley, where's your favorite, favorite? If you could only spend the rest of your life in one place, where would it be? Um, the mall? No. <laughs> New York. New York. Okay, Tyler, where would you spend all the rest of your time? Where's one of your favorite, favorite places to be? Laser tag. Laser tag. Okay, so mine, let's see if you can guess mine. I brought a couple things. Can you see what that is? Can you see what that is? Where would I spend all of my time? If you know where these came from, then you have the answer. What is it? The beach. The beach. I love the beach. I would spend all my time at the beach. Okay, so. For our Bible story today, we're talking about Revelation. Revelation is at the end of the Bible, and it um, is about a man named John. A man named John wrote Revelation. Now, John was one of Jesus' original 12 disciples. He was with Jesus the whole time. He watched him live. He watched him heal people. He watched the amazing things he did. He watched him die. He watched him come back from the dead. He watched him still teach people. And he lived a really, really, really long time. But because he wouldn't stop telling people about Jesus, he was actually thrown in jail. And so so he was living um, at this place where like people had to work in the mines and they had to work really hard and he was like 80 something 90 something years old um, and all of a sudden one day he hears a voice behind him it's like a trumpet hello okay so John hears this voice that's like a trumpet, and it was God. And God told him. Hello, my son. Hello, my son. And told him. <laughs> and the trumpet sound told him. Everything I say through this tube, nice oh. and loud, like a trumpet. I doubt everything I say. Okay, <laughs> we need a new actor. Just kidding. And so, John had the notebook and said, "Okay, okay, right? yeah." And he started to write down everything, right, right, everything the voice of God said. And he said a lot. Okay, and so here's what. The voice of God, we're in Revelation, was telling him, um, and it was about a new heaven and a new earth. So I'm going to read off of my screen that you can't see over here um, because it, it's a lot. Okay, so while John is listening, God tells him 
how the story is going to end for everyone who believes in Jesus. Do you want to show everybody Revelation? If you have this this book, here, let me help. some of you do, right? Haley, what are we looking at? Mm, so, John's sitting here, and then all of a sudden he hears a voice. And then it says, write, write a book um, about what you see and send it to the churches. So what he's seen right here, Jesus is telling him to write a book about what he sees right here and send it to all the churches. Okay, so he says, he sees, and this is what God tells him, right? And then this is what John writes down. There are many rooms in my father's house. If this were not true, would I have told you that I am going there? Would I have told you that I am preparing a place for you there? If I go and do that, I will come back. I will take you to be with me and you will also be where I am. So that means God is preparing a place for the people who believe in him. So we will never be separate. Please don't eat my hair while I'm telling a story. We will never be separated from him. So he shows John, um, look, God now makes his home with the people. He will live with them. They will be his people and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eye. <laughs> There will be no more sadness. There will be no more crying or pain. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of pain. Sorry. Sorry. We're a one take you wonder. Him out. We'll go with it. We'll go with it. Ouch. So God tells him there's going to be this perfect place where no one is sad and no one cries and no one hurts. And like you're not hungry and you're not hurt. Like everything is perfect. It's Well, I mean, I, I guess you could still eat if you wanted to eat, right? And guess what and, this place was called? Wait for it. We got some more to talk about, right? Yeah. Go ahead, tell them. What's it called? It's called Heaven. Heaven. Dun, dun, dun. The city does not need a sun or moon to shine on it. This was another description. God's glory is its light, and the Lamb Jesus is its lamp. There was also a river, a river of water of life. It was as clear as a crystal, is what John says. It flowed from the throne of God and of the Lamb. Do you want to show the picture? It flowed down the middle of the city's main street. On each side of the river stood the tree of life, bearing 12 crops of fruit. Its fruit was ripe every month. The leaves of the tree bring healing to the nations. Do you have a picture of that? Of the water? This of the healing? Heaven. Oh. So there's <clears throat> God sitting on his throne. <clears throat> God's servants will serve him and they will see his face. That's a lot for us to imagine, right? So like the most perfect thing, the most perfect place now. It's heaven. Is, is heaven, yeah. So God has created this perfect place. It might be, your most perfect place might be laser tag. And my most perfect place is the beach. And Haley's most perfect place is... What'd you say? New York. New York, that's New York. <laughs> New what York. So like our favorite places... Heaven is even better. It's even sure? better. Super sure. Yes. Why? Because you can believe everything Lizard in the Bible. Tag. Because Lizard God tag. tells us, pew, pew, right? Pew. So, this perfect place God has created for us. Now, this we know the end of the story. We know that when we pass away, we're going to be in heaven with God. What a beautiful, beautiful ending to already know. So, sometimes people in your life pass away. Sometimes people uh, get sick. Sometimes there's accidents. And sometimes they are just really, are really old, right? And it's their time to go sit with Jesus. But that is where you can take this, I know it's hard, but this tiny bit of comfort of the people that you love and the people that love Jesus and believe God's word as truth. They're in heaven right now. They're in this most perfect place. Things aren't always great down here. And we try to make the world around us as heavenly as possible, right? By sharing the love of Christ. Haley got to do some mission work this week with the youth and had a really good time doing that. We can show our, our, our Christ life to friends. Tyler had um, got to see a friend last week and they got to play together. So there's all kinds of ways that you can show God's love for other people knowing that at the end of our lives where are we going to be? Where are you going to be? Uh, hopefully in heaven. Where are you going to be? Lego. Where are you going to be at the end of this world? 
Laser tag. Heaven. Laser tag. Oh, heaven. I'm going to be in heaven, and I want you to be in heaven, too. So. You're going to be in the heaven hot tub. <laughs> I have a I'm following Jesus. I have a really big turnout. turn out greater than you can imagine. So, like, n heaven is going to be better than anything we can possibly imagine. Mommy. What's your question? Do you think that there could be more than one different kind of heaven? Is there like a heaven for dogs or a heaven yeah, for dogs? Yeah, all dogs do go to heaven. I, I saw that movie. Um, I don't know, but Pastor Ben, if you're watching, are there more than one kinds of heaven? And um, Pastor Garrett is our new pastor, right? We had fun um, seeing him and Haley and the youth got to hang out it and do some God's heaven. work together. Yeah, that's um, enough of let's I don't know. <laughs> Heaven is even better than laser tag, and I guess that's like impossible. Nothing is better than laser tag! Impossible yes. to imagine for some people. So, hands together. That's our story for today. Eyes closed. Dear God, thank you for sending us the Bible. Thank you for giving us the faith that we know we can believe everything in the Bible and that you always have a plan. God, thank you for creating heaven so we know the end of our story. Let us live the best life we can now, knowing that we're going to see you in heaven, hopefully in a really long time, <laughs> where we will live together forever in the perfect, perfect harmony that is heaven. And all God's children said, Amen. Thanks, everybody. We hope you have a good week. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your stuffed animals. Take a walk outside. Have a popsicle. Read the Bible. Um, tell somebody you love them. Bye, everybody.